we like to do a show for Khaled every, every couple of years because he's such an important artist for us and he, and he has a lot to say. Complete Freedom is, is, is a kind of new direction for him where he's actually tackling much bigger issues and they're not just about him, you know, it, it's bigger things but through his eyes are, are, are things that he actually uh, wants to kind of communicate and, and in a strikingly different way. And I think it's really important because doing it in London is why it's really significant. You know, it's, it's, London is kind of the center of the art world and the art market and there's a lot of attention now going to Syria and to the Middle East. And here's an artist who's kind of bringing a different kind of message from Syria, you know, to the heart of London. To me, a complete freedom, it's, I think it's, it's come from my personal uh, history. Uh, on my, uh, my character, on my personality, I think I feel like I need to be more free. So for this, I make different, different uh, image, uh, different idea for the freedom. After years and years of painting, I uh, feel like uh, I have to be more, uh, more um, direct in my idea. So in this, for this case, I use uh, the line, the outside lines without a lot of uh, shadows and a lot, uh, lot of painting. It's more kind of drawing or kind of etching. It's first what, uh, what I feel and second it's how the work, what the work need to use color and technique. So because this collection I want to be very direct in my work so I use one or two colors and this is technical reason but the, uh, some other reason it's uh, from the difficult period Syria uh, have uh, from years I think the colors uh, escape from my palette and this is the reason I work uh, no lot of colors it's not, uh, it's not meaning like if I use color I feel more happy, no. But it's, 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 it's a way to, to explain myself in this period. I mean, I think that's what makes him such an you know, important artist is the fact that he does have Syrian roots, but he's lived in Europe. So, you know, he sees the kind of duality and he kind of can, can go back and forth, you know, amongst both lines, whereas you know, you have Western artists living in the West and that's where the world they can relate to. And you have Middle Eastern artists who live in the Middle East, but he's kind of goes back and forth so he can kind of, you know, interpret both and, and, and express both and kind of be an artist that kind of brings, you know, both sides together. Um, you know, even this show, I mean, he did a lot of it in Paris and a lot of it in Beirut and he's back and forth a lot. And I think, you know, he's spending more and more time in the Middle East and I think it's, you know, influencing his work in a positive way. My work uh, now it's open for all the world, like I make something in Paris and now in London and I, I used to, uh, to, to, to export in the Middle East and in the Gulf but now it's come more international and it's made me happy and it's make uh, my dream come true because I always felt like uh, art it's, it's, uh, it's when he, when he come from the heart, he have to be uh, for all the place to be international and to be uh, universal.